So before I get started on sharing the language, I just wanted to share um, five things that you might want to know about me or maybe you don't want to know, but it will help you understand how the language um, kind of makes sense that it would come from me. Just like my back. Oh, and while I'm sharing that with you, I'm just working on some of my own artwork, just some sketching, just to try to hash out some ideas. So I'm kind of multitasking here. Anywho, um, so the first thing is um, at the age of four, I decided I wanted to join the Peace Corps. Now, I knew no one in the Peace Corps at the age of four, but there was those PSAs from the 1970s that they played, and for some reason at four, it just seemed so interesting to have the toughest job you'll ever love. Like, I don't know, it, it seemed like you were traveling the world. And even though at four, I didn't know anything, but at four years old, I had decided I wanted to join the Peace Corps and I wanted to join all the way up until I guess I was in my early twenties and I was in college and I looked into it and I realized that I can't join the Peace Corps because I, at that time, had already had a baby and I couldn't bring her with me. So I wasn't going to leave her behind. So I said, okay, well, maybe after she's an adult, I'll revisit that. So I'll revisit that. Anyway, the second thing that I wanted to tell you about myself is that in elementary school, the majority of the students there, I went to school in Santa Ana, California, and in the neighborhood where I was, it was majority um, Mexican. Um, so like a lot of our assemblies were in Spanish, mostly, and then English, or when we would perform, our classes would perform, you know, for, you know, Christmas assemblies or whatever assemblies or singing songs in front of the rest of the school. The majority of the time, that stuff was in Spanish. So most of my class assembly performances, I absolutely had no idea what I was singing about. I mean, I guess I had an idea the teacher would vaguely say if she even understood because sometimes that wasn't even the case but it's just how it was so um yeah and those who weren't um hispanic were southeast asian and that was pretty much it so there was a lot of vietnamese and a lot of cambodian um not a lot of black people at all not a lot of white people either so that's the kind of elementary school I went to um okay and then in high school in high school I started studying uh, black history mostly on my own because the majority of that stuff wasn't taught in my school and at that time by the time I went to high school I had moved to Anaheim well my family <laughs> moved to Anaheim and um, the school was half white, half Mexican, I guess. Again, not a lot of black people. So, um, I was studying, I was reading a lot of books and, um, reading about slavery and, um, reading about just history in general. And I started looking at the lives of like girls my age who were enslaved and then comparing my life to their lives and then realizing that my problems weren't as bad because it could
could have been so much worse if I lived in a different time. So that kind of helped me balance out my problems sometimes, sometimes, not all the time. You know, I was a teenager, so that jump only goes so far. But it did help a lot, um, putting things into perspective, um, you know, at a young age so that I could even in the midst of my distress, I had a bit of perspective and had some appreciation for where I was. Um, and then, um, I'm an artist. I think I said that before though. Um, and I think I'm, I said that earlier in this video actually, but the last thing I wanted, I wanted everybody to know um, that could kind of help like put all the pieces together with why I created this language is that um, almost everything in my adulthood evolved around my daughter. Um, I had her pretty early. Um, I was 20. I wasn't a teen mother, but I was a very young mother. And I was an unwed mother and I was a single mother and um, yeah so every decision that I made every relationship that I got into every job that I got every move that I made everything I did I had my daughter in mind when I did it so my whole life kind of evolved around her for a long time actually just only in recent years I've kind of like given myself the freedom to like branch off and not worry so much about her because she's actually got a good head on her shoulders now. Um, but it was very important for me to also show her me pursuing the things that I wanted to do. So even though my world evolved around her, I also wanted to be an example for her. So I stretched in creativity as much as I knew how and, um, you know, was always constantly trying to better myself and my situation and myself artistically. So, um, yeah, I needed her to see that because I needed her to know how to do that for herself when the time came because I wasn't always going to be around. So yeah, that was a, a supremely important to me. So um, I hope that helps. I'm thinking, if you think about it, it kind of works all together. Like me being interested in a worldview at an early age in still wanting to expand myself, I mean, all the way up until uh, right now, as a matter of fact. So um, it's just always been a part of me. And I think, I think it was probably like inevitable that I would do something, if not this, then similar to this. So there you go. That is a few things about me to kind of help you understand who I am as a person and my background and kind of a little bit into my philosophy and yeah that's it so I guess until next time take care